Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. If you're watching this video, it's likely because you've registered for my Flip the Unit workshop at FlipCon Australia 2017. Part of this pre-learning, we're going to be going through the backward map planning template that I've put together for flipped learning uh, to help with my own planning. And to get a co uh, access to a copy of that, you can see the URL there on your screen. I'm gonna go through a bit of a walkthrough of the template here uh, in this video. This is not a th really thorough in-depth lesson by lesson plan. This is more of an overarching unit plan guide. So the first section of course is all about uh, the basics as well as curriculum. You know, what's the title of the unit? How long are you expecting it to go for? When are you starting? And, and what year group is it for? So for me as a primary teacher, I'm gonna use um, science and the earth in space unit from the syllabus. And for my learning goal, this is a rewording uh, of the actual curriculum dot point, the syllabus dot point. And that's the overarching thing that I want students to be able to do at the end. And you can see that it's not about being able to recite and recall facts and names and dates. It's all about being able to understand, to explain how things have changed and how they continue to change. Across curricular links, this isn't necessarily about specific curriculum codes, specific dot points. This is just a general, you know, there's gonna be some literacy in here, there's gonna be some numeracy. There are some links to history, and there's a particular section in this one that I'm putting, that I'm working on. Uh, there's a particular part where there'll be some drama uh, drama skills going on as well. The prerequisite stuff, for me for this unit, I've got here awareness of heliocentricity as a general concept. Now I'm working with stage three, so I don't expect them to be able to tell me exactly what heliocentricity is. This is more of students need to know that we orbit around the sun as do the other planets in our solar system. That's all it is, but this is a much shorter way of explaining that. What you put in there will, again, it will vary depending on your particular subject, the year group that you're working with, and what your learning goal actually is as well. Assessment, I'm a big believer in backward mapping, starting with the end in mind. So we know what the learning goal is for the unit. How are we going to assess that we've achieved that goal? What are the types of assessment? What's the purpose of those particular assessment items? What is the assessment going to be? And what are the accessible elements and when are we going to do it? The first assessment that I'll be doing is a formative assessment prior to starting the unit. And what it is, it'll just be a kahoot. My, my kids love that. And the accessible elements in that kahoot is just conceptual and factual knowledge. This is just to get an idea of where they're at, you know, as the purpose says, to get their preconceptions and their prior knowledge. What you have here, again, will vary depending on your particular context. This is not really detailed. This is, again, broad brush stroke. That's what this template is all about. It's just to help you get things started. The detail, the specific concrete detail, that can come later. Now this particular section here, again, I just really want to reinforce, this is not a lesson by lesson structure. This is an overarching broad brush stroke planning template. So within the learning goal, there are going to be some concepts or some skills that students will need to master, to understand, to be able to work with. Each of those concepts or skills will have some things that will need to be achieved that lead towards that skill. So I've got in here that one of the things that I want our students to be able to do is to understand where we were and where we are in terms of our understanding of, you know, our conceptualization of Earth in space and the solar system. Within that, some of the sub-concepts include exploring indigenous astronomy beliefs, con a conversation around our Western science-based knowledge about Earth's place in space, and how that's changed over time with a particular focus on the flat earth concept and geocentricity and then following on from that a conversation around where we are now and where we're heading no real detail here it's this is just a guide just to help me start to get some ideas down and a bit of a flow and again this is not the only concept within the unit obviously just for the purposes of this video you may have three four five six seven whatever it may be skills and then each of those may have a couple of uh, sub concepts or sub skills as well and then finally reflection is hugely important this is reflecting on the overall unit at the end sit down okay what worked well and why did it work well what can be improved and how can I improve it the next time I implement this particular unit. So that's a really brief go through of the flipped unit template, planning template. Again, it's not a detailed lesson by lesson, fully mapped out planning template. It's a broad brush stroke. Let's get some ideas down on paper and start to think about the flow and the structure of the unit. The really detailed concrete lesson by lesson that comes after because you need that structure, that framework first to hang the detail from. Look forward to seeing you in the workshop and please do remember to bring with you a unit of learning that you would like to start to plan on to map out and we'll go through the 
template in more detail and have conversations around specific subject areas uh, and around how you can help uh, use this for your particular context. Thanks for watching.